Okay, guys. One always used to wonder which is the best career. Traditionally, in India and most of Asia, the best careers have been engineering or medicine. And then for some exceptionally intelligent students, it was the civil services, uh, which comprise of selection for various cadres like IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS, etc., etc. But then, these are careers which are more or less at the saturation point. See, for the commerce graduate, there have been choices like CA, Chartered Accountancy, CMA, Cost and Management Accountancy, and CES, Company Secretaryship. In addition, uh, for all streams, there has always been uh, LLB, Baccalaureus Legum, which is uh, the qualification uh, required to become a lawyer. But then, see, these are all <coughs> sorry professions which are at saturation point. In the sense, if even if you pick a small town in India or in Kerala, you will find dozens and dozens of doctors, dozens and dozens of engineers, very many lawyers, a number of chartered accountants. So these are professions at saturation point. Now what is the emerging profession where there is the demand supply situation is lopsided. There is a huge demand but the supply is very limited. The answer to this question is GST practitioners. So why are GST practitioners so much in demand? Because as we know, every uh, institution or every establishment with an annual turnover of about 20 lakhs has to file a return. A composite return or a regular return. Which means there are millions of establishments which need to file GST returns. And GST being a new tax policy, the traditional sales tax practitioners and traditional char old chartered accountants are not too clear about the nuances of GST, which is a relatively new taxation policy. That's why GST practitioners are so much in demand and that's why it is the best choice for a graduate in commerce or management. Now, in a town, there may be hardly any <coughs> GST practitioners. What you have to do is take a good training. Uh, we also have an institution uh, giving training for GST practitioners to take on the exam. We have, uh, you know, very distinguished faculty from the government of India, honorary counselors, resource persons of the government of India, uh, coaching students in our institution. And at the end of this training, you have to take the test conducted by the government of India, and once you qualify, see this test is rather simple, objective type, only 50 questions, you need only 50% for a pass. So if you are trained well, it's very easy to clear. And once you clear and you get the GST practitioner's registration certificate, you are on the verge of a lucrative profession, which may be a gold mine. In terms of your revenue, in terms of uh, ease of practice, in terms of cuteness of flourishing in the practice, uh, from any which angle you look at it, GST practitioners is one of the best professions available at this point of time. Now, yet another advantage here of being a GST practitioner is that you don't have to snatch clients from the older practitioners. There is no dirty game going on, dirty competition going on. GST practitioners are new, so they get clients easily. You don't have to steal anything from some, someone else's uh, 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 kitty. You will have your own clients easily. So, we would welcome all the young graduates and postgraduates in commerce and management 
to check out this as a career option. I assure you, this would be one of the best. See, the big advantage here is, even if you're working in a corporate or even in government service, except for working in tax, those working in tax department, any other uh, person can practice after office hours as a GSU practitioner and earn quite a sizable additional income. Many a time, the additional income earned by a GST practitioner may be much more than the salary of a government official or an official in a private uh, company. So look at this wonderful emerging new option and make sure that you have a thriving career, especially in the context of COVID and resultant recession. Many other professions are going to suffer now. They're going to suffer a huge setback and no one knows how much time it will take to recover. <coughs> But GST practitioners would definitely be on demand <coughs> from day one after recovery from COVID because GST returns are to be filed on a monthly basis and there is no excuse. So as soon as the COVID uh, uh, resultant recession clears out, the GST practitioners stand a chance of launching a flourishing career from day one post recession or from day one post COVID. No, I should say post COVID, not post recession. The recession may be on, but the GST practice would thrive. Well, check it out. If you have any doubts, please do feel free to contact me. My contact details are on the first frame of this presentation. Thank you very much. Good luck to you.